Today, I'll be reviewing my unique skill makes me OP even at level 1. I'm finally reviewing summer anime series of this year. I was very busy for a while, so that is why it took me so long. There weren't any great anime series during summer season that weren't already sequel. The only really good one was ZOM 100, and we already know how that anime series turned out. It started off great, but then had major delays. This anime that I'm reviewing now is nothing special, but there's not much else worth talking about. In this anime series, the protagonist Ryota suddenly appears in a dungeon in the world. He meets a girl named Emily. Ryota is stuck at level 1, and his stats are very low, except for the one stat of getting great item drops from the defeating monsters. He is able to build up his stats from these item drops, and eventually becomes overpowered even at level 1. He explores his dungeon with Emily, and they live a happy life together. So it starts off as your typical Iskai power fantasy. A normal guy suddenly becomes overpowered, and several girls become interested in him. Eventually, there is a harem. This anime series tries to be unique by having him become overpowered in a very bizarre and unique way. But the end result is the same. It's him defeating powerful enemies, and everyone look at him in all of his greatness. The good thing though is that the main character isn't completely overpowered. He does have characters help him out during fights. Usually when there's a power fantasy setup like this, I'm going to call the anime series Generic Iskai Trash. However, the focus in this anime series isn't on the main character getting a harem or being overpowered. It's more about him having a relaxing life in a different world and being close to Emily. Even though there's a harem by the end of the show, Early on, the main focus was just on him and Emily. It was relaxing and sweet seeing them spend time together and acting close like a couple, even if they aren't officially dating. Throughout the anime series, more girls join Ryota's party and they all become close and care about each other. This anime series was pretty wholesome to watch. The episodes mostly filled with dungeon exploring and slice of life scenes. You could see Ryota defeat powerful enemies with the help of his party members. Even though Ryota is overpowered, the fights still had a lot of tension to them. What made the anime series really enjoyable to watch was that the anime series was showing flashbacks of Ryota's past life in his original world and how stressed out he was from working. It is very relatable to the viewers and you feel like you care about the main character now. So this overall was pretty much the anime series. There weren't any great plot twists or amazing fights to death. There aren't any emotional scenes or great romantic development. It's just the main character living relaxing life with the people that it cares about. Some people may find this sort of premise to be boring, but there's so many anime series out there that are just cute girls doing absolutely nothing important, and people are fine with that. But because this is an Iskai anime series, there will obviously be a strong bias against it, and people will judge it more harshly. If this anime series was just about a stressed out guy that suddenly has a cute girl taking care of him, it would have been much more light. But once you add in Harum and Iskai, it will make people be harsher towards it. This anime series had a great cast of characters. Ryota is a chill, relatable protagonist that just wants to live a happy life. The anime really did a great job with his characterization to make him likable as a character. Emily is a sweet, kind girl that is always there for Ryota and cares about him a lot. She supports him a lot and makes him happy in life. Eve is a funny rabbit girl that is obsessed with carrots. It's all she thinks about. Celeste is a kind and attractive girl that always tries her best to make people happy. It was great seeing her become so interested in Ryota. The girl that I liked most besides Emily was Erisa. She tried so hard to get Ryota's attention and like her determination to get close to him. Alice was just okay as character. She was just a happy nice girl that is happy to be in Ryota's party. The opening and ending song for his anime series were average. The music throughout this anime series was pretty relaxing, especially during slice of life scenes. The animation style and animation looked alright. I actually enjoyed watching this Isekai anime series. It wasn't about the characters looking at all of the main character's greatness, and also didn't have cliche harm scenes. It was just a relaxing Isekai anime series I did a good job in making the protagonist relatable and likable. You'll probably forget this anime series after year two, 
but it's still worth watching. I give this anime series a 7 out of 10.